Hi guys, this is one of me by Nikki. Welcome to another vlog, guys. Today is another cooking video. One love. Welcome to my family. So, guys, today um, I'm gonna be cooking some nenwa. Guys, I haven't eaten nenwa in a long, long time. Since I left Guyana in 2005, I never eat nenwa, and I finally found it, and I'm gonna cook it curry style, the way how I like it. So, before I get into cooking. I'd like to say happy, happy birthday to my ne um, nephew, Avinash. Happy birthday from me, Chachi, Diana, and Chris. We all like to wish you happy, happy birthday. God bless you to see many, many more to come in your life, whatever your heart desires. And bless you to go to school and get good education. Would you like to say a happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday, Avinash. We love you. So guys, all those who subscribe and subscribe to my channel welcome to my channel thank you for all the new subscribers welcome to my family and everybody around the world around the globe wherever you are thank you so much for dropping your beautiful comments on my video hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart without you guys love and support my channel not be would not be where it is today and like I said, I would like to say thank you to Ash, Charmin, um, my brother being Rocky, and Auntie Sherry, and Ali for always helping me with anything I have. They always help me and show me. And as in too, big up to you guys. So And Gopi. And my brother also, Gopi, Gopi family. family, and Miss Debbie. So guys, check them out. They're all YouTubers. YouTubers. Go and show them some love. Cooking with Ash, Gopi family, being Rocky, being Rocky and uh, being Rocky, Gopi family. and um, Gopi family. who else? Gopi family. And also Charmin Kitchen guys. So once again, go check them out, show them some love. So let's get started today. I have my daughter with me in the kitchen. My son is my son is upstairs playing with my brother kids. So as you can see. I already got some stuff set up and I'm gonna get started. So come along, let's go. Let's go. So as in here you guys can see I already get all my ingredients. As I go along, I'll show you guys the rice, my nenwa, Guyana style nenwa, uh, my but my fine bang I'm ready fry, fish to fry. It's me. And black shrimp fresh from West Indian store. Timothy West Indian store. So stay tuned guys. So 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 guys this okay. So this is my first time um actually cooking Guyana Neno on my channel. So this is gonna be amazing guys I know it's gonna be delicious because I haven't had this since 2005. I haven't ate Nenwa. So this is the first time I'll be cooking it back and this is the first time my daughter and my son is going to eat it back too. I, don't, I think my wife, this is the first time too she's going to eat it back too since then. So it's going to be good guys. So I'm cutting off the onions now. I'm going to get the water going for my rice and um, the aisle for fried shrimp. Cutting up the onion, guys, and um, I will put my oil to start fry fry my black shrimp first. I like to fry it first, and then put it in the um the main one. So, guys, if you hear a mistake of saying zucchini, <laughs> because they are still the same color, so I'm cooking nenwa though. Just in case I mistake of say it. Alright guys, so So I have an iron hot, I'm gonna um, put my shrimp to fry. So 
So this is a black shrimp, guys. I bought it from TV. Um, see how the shrimp is starting a pinnacle already? This is a real black shrimp, so when you fry it, it's gonna start turning red. So for now, I just put a little bit into here. As you can see, it starts changing the color already. Nice, like nice to orange colors. So it has to fry a little more, guys. So I'm gonna let it fry. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go back, cut off my zook and my nanwa. I don't take the seed out, I cook it with the seed and everything. If it's young, I leave the young seed inside. But if it's have like, like the hard seed, then I take out the hard seed out of it. So there's my black shrimp frying. Once again, like I said, thank you all so much for your love and support constantly on my channel. So guys, I can go my diet. You're going to talk slower so they can understand you. And you can wish Abby happy birthday to the one on the video. Can you push? Mm-hmm. So I would like to wish my cousin Adina a happy birthday and many, many more to come. And God bless you. And we love you. And we love you. And I would like to give a shout out to everyone who makes sure like to subscribe. Thank you. So guys, as you can see, my nanoa is young and nice. There's no hard seed. So I'm cutting up with everything. I don't take out nothing. And my shrimp is done fried, as you can see. I'll empty out just now when I'm ready to cook uh, my nanua. It's like a so guys in here I have two uh um, two teaspoons of curry powder. I had uh two teaspoons of garlic, I got some green seasoning, I got some uh, a pack of one pack of um Cezanne, half a teaspoon of uh, ground pepper. So um I'm gonna mix it up and show you guys how it looks now, okay? So guys this is how everything looks. So here I have my um my um nanoa, chipped up nanoa. This is my fish all seasoning and ready to soak um to fry. And this is my black shrimp. So once again, this is all my ingredients. And this is how everything is looking. As you can see, I have my rice cooking there, and I have my oil there to cook, cook my nanoa right now. So this is how everything looks, guys. This is how it looks inside so far. So once again, all the ingredients is two teaspoons of masala, two teaspoons of curry powder, aji, um, the fresh um, fine thyme seasoning, celery, onion, pepper, garlic.
Alright, so I'm gonna wash my hand right now, throw it in, because the masala is cooking with already. This is how my nana are looking so far. The shrimp is already fried. I'm not gonna add the shrimp now until the um, nana is cooked down and melted. Then I'm gonna add the shrimp because the shrimp I already fried it. So this is how my nana is looking so far. So guys, like I said, I haven't had this in almost 18 to 19 years and I didn't have the nana. So today is the first time I'm having it back since I left Guyana. So that, you, so you can average your salt. I'm using a small teaspoon. So this is like a half a small teaspoon. Cause you don't wanna put a lot of salt. Like a pinch more of it. There you go guys, we're just gonna cover it now, let it cook. And well done guys, as you can see, I cover it, I did not mash it or anything like that. But it's not well done as yet, it's looking to see one, two big piece here. So I still have a lot of water inside yet, I'm gonna let it melt down a little more. Then I'm gonna add the shrimp. Then I'm gonna fry the fish after because my rice is done right now. I'm gonna go strain the rice. Guys, I'm adding the shrimp now into my nano. A lot of shrimp I add into it because I like to shrimp a lot of shrimp with my name on. You see guys, this look amazing. Nice shrimp in this nenoa. That tastes really delicious, guys. So the nenoa is done. I'm gonna go ahead now and um, fry my fine bangamiri fry fish. So there's the nenoa, guys. So I'll put it in my first set of fish to fry guys. Let's go in. The part that is already finished. 
after the last set of fish is finished and I'm taking it out and then we're going to sit down and have some nice zup, some nice um, menua and shrimp and fry fish This is the last set coming out there. All set. So guys, here is my rice, my nenwa and shrimp, and my fry, fine banga and fry fish. So guys, like I said, the last time I eat nenwa was in 2005, and I never ate it back, so finally, I went to the West Indian store and I saw it and I bought it and I was like I have to cook this with black shrimps and find Bangamari fry fish fry in the side. So here I am, my fine Bangamari fry fish, my nenwa and black guy and the shrimps and my green pepper in the side. So once again before I start eating, shout out goes to everybody for liking and subscribing to my channel. And happy birthday once again, Avinash from Chacho, Chachi, Chris and Diana. We all like to wish you happy birthday and God bless you. And shout out to Sasha and Avinash too. And your mom and your dad and everybody else. Yeah. My mom, my dad, my brothers, everybody else. Shout out to all of you guys. The list goes on. So I can't call everybody name because it's too long. Shout out to you all. And we all love you guys. Welcome to my family. So let's dig in now. I'm going with my hand today, guys. I'm so excited for this nenoa and black shrimps and fine fry fish. Of course, you know, we're gonna get green pepper. I'm dribbling already, guys. <laughs> so, oh, and this is the first time that both of them are eating the nenoa. This is the first time. So you guys eat it and give your honest opinion today. Subscribers. This thing is good. It looks like it's dry. Thank you. Yes, but do you guys eat it for the first time? How does it taste for the first time you guys eat it? Really good. Um, very, very good. Eat it now. Yeah. So guys, this is the first one. It goes to the subscribers. So the first one is for you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this tastes really, really good. Makes it nice. This Nenwa curry, guys, tastes just like when you're back home, when you're small. I used to love eating eat Nenwa. I know most of you guys know it know as Nenwa. But the other name, I don't know what some people call it in different places. But I know I born and grew up and I call it Nenwa from small. So I know it's Nenwa. This is really good guys. I'm not lying to you. I'm waiting for the second one. So guys, Nenwa usually does usually grow in trees on the fence, on the ground, anywhere it grows, it can grow. And when it grows, it grows like up to this size. And sometimes you use the, the nenwa, the dry one, to scrub your skin. But this is the green one. You can cook the green one, you peel the skin and you cook the green one. And it tastes amazing. It tastes basically like squash. But I love it. I love nenwa. So, after almost 18 to 19 years, then I'm finally getting back to eat Nenwa over here in the U.S. So once again, I thank all you guys for your love and support. And welcome to my family. Shout out to all of you guys, wherever part of the world you may be, and watching me and dropping all beautiful comments. Know that we all appreciate you all. And we all love you guys from my family. To your family, one love.
Peace out.